On the eve of January the 1st, 1863, Union soldiers marched onto plantations throughout former Confederate states and read Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation, which declared all enslaved people in Confederate states free. While Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation outlawed slavery in states formerly held by the Confederacy, it did not end slavery to states which remained in the Union. Slavery wouldn't be outlawed federally for another two years until the 13th Amendment was adopted in the U.S. Constitution in February of 1865. Proclamation and constitutional amendments aside, slavery continued to exist after the 13th Amendment in territories like Texas, still held by Confederate forces. The liberation of all enslaved people in the United States was achieved finally on June 19, 1865, when 2,000 Union soldiers marched into Galveston Bay, Texas, and issued General Order Number 3. The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with the proclamation from the Executive of the United States, all slaves are free. One year later, on June 19, the liberated slaves, now free people, would hold the First Jubilee Day celebration marking General Order Number 3 and the abolition of slavery. Undeniably, the U.S. was built on the back of enslaved black people, and that legacy lives on beyond slavery in social and economic trends that devalue the lives and work of black people. There is no real justice without the abolition of lasting remnants of U.S. slavery, and on Juneteenth, we remember and recommit to that struggle.